Maybe everybody thinking a little too much to start. Knocked away. Omarui is in the middle of everything early on. Beautiful pass, and it's jammed through by Montez Mathis. Look at this. I mean, the lob for Mathis, who we know is a highlight reel. 7.9 rebounds, 47 blocks. Underneath, he puts it up and in. Shooting 61% from the field last year. He's two for two with this start. Amori with the feed. I talked about how fast he can go and how fast was loves these New Jersey matchups. And he knows Steve Peichel well. The two of them, close friends, go all the way back to some Connecticut ties. And it's Harper hitting his first three. Young comes off this. Amori's going to roll hard. Good ball fake. It shifts the defense in. Ron Harper, if he's got that much time, it's going down. 14, and he's looked great through two games. Alley oop on the way and dropped in off the glass. Numbers advantage for Rutgers here as they push. Jacob Young. Bang. Throw the goal. Throw the goal. That's on you. After a look inside, a drive and a kick out, and Rutgers gets the three. They double their advantage. Well, look, the only way to really put it behind you is to go out and be successful and capitalize on what you were able to do last year. Look out in transition. Once again, Syracuse not communicating defensively. Transition, you've got to communicate. You've got to point. And communication is, yes, yelling, talking, you know, verbal communication. <laughs> Okay, he three to shoot. Oh, what a feed to Miles Johnson for the two-hand flush. Watch okay, he nice wraparound bounce. Draws Dante Scott away from Johnson. A little shovel pass. That's playmaking right there. Paul McKay. Excellent job. Probably thinks he can play 40 minutes right now, so. Young baseline dump down and the two-hand flush for Amori. But I'm going to come up with something else because Jacob Young is doing it all for Rutgers. Andre Curbelo has checked in. There's an Illinois turnover. And there's the free-running Rutgers Scarlet Knights down the other way to get the two for Montez Matt. And Brad Underwood said he got into the faces of those other players. Io did. And he said that's how we do it at Illinois. And Rutgers gets a three. I like what Young is doing because he's being guarded by a, a perimeter player. So anytime he gets the ball in the paint, he's looking to score. Okay, out of the corner, and he hits. Fastest guys in the country collapses the defense, and Okay, he is the beneficiary of the nice assist. Oscar's got it done more on the perimeter to this point. Okay, cut off on the baseline. That's Baker. Hits it. Recovering, and look at this bullet by Okay, he. I mean, Dwayne Warsi could do much better. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't been as big of a factor here for Purdue. Oh, oh the play. touch pass and the finish from Mulcahy. I can take another look. Well, first he got the steal, stayed in bounds. And when he probes the defense, he's going about half speed, but he's still getting past everybody else. Certain players move and other players glide. Jay Ivey glides on the, around the court. That's a great description for him. Johnson back on the other side. In both, both teams, Jason, don't let the ball get driven in the middle. And there it went to the middle. And there's a shot. Young for Mathis. Got it from the corner. Montez Mathis continues his tear in jump shooting. 332, Iowa. Mulcahy got it from the corner. And Josh Langford, he has had some wide open looks. Mulcahy runs the floor and finishes with the left hand plus a foul. As soon as he hit the floor, that ball was gone. And Geo Baker with a terrific bounce pass to Mulcahy, who was running the floor hard. And they finish on six straight possessions after starting 0 of 2. They're now 6 of 8. Harper knocks it down. Both teams getting into a rhythm. Nice job on the interior. And Chris Holtman said that energy and effort is something he desperately missed last year. There's some effort. Easy slam, Miles Johnson. Johnson and Key both stay with Young. Nobody rotates over for... One thing about Wisconsin, though, they generally have pretty good balance at the defensive end because it's set up by their offense. Good time! Drops it for Miles Johnson, who dunks it home. 
Now the Knights try to get something going offensively here. Omaruyi, easy two. Now Young. Baker will try another three, and that one rattles home. Oh, such a great sign for Rutgers. When you step up the line and direct shots, Dave, it's almost like you don't want to be there anymore. Whoa! Alley-oop to Harper, and he'll go to the strike. Well, I talked about posting up, but he thought I meant poster the defense. Now that's the Ron Harper Jr. we know. Great set play. Rises above. and Here is Omori. Great pass over the top. Two-handed jam for Ron Harper Jr. He doesn't get a lot of those opportunities. That's typically Jackson Davis with those post-ups. Nice job by Thompson. Amore, left-handed flush. Good feed, Paul Mulcahy. Here we go. Scarlet Knights controlling the tip. They go inside early. Reverse layup. Harper Jr. Only two points, one of eight shooting in this game. The average is 18 a game. Here's the lob, Miles Johnson. Rats off the mark. Geo Baker. Nice backdoor. Bam! Harper Jr. Beautiful <laughs> no-look pass by Geo Baker to Ron Harper Jr. Ron Harper Jr. dunk from Geo Baker. But this is no communication that time by Michigan State on the back line. All eyes were on Geo Baker that time. As you see, Joey Howes are kind of pointing out. Starters stay in for Rutgers, but to your point, Stephen, Montez Mathis and Jacob Young are the used to be starters that now come off the bench here for Rutgers as Johnson finishes the flush. If he's going to get this close, he may be the longest player, Lisa, in the Big Ten in terms of wingspan at seven foot four. If he gets it right there, maybe Zach Eaton. I believe Northwestern assistant Brian James is one of the kind of the out of bounds, the baseline out of bounds specialists. Look out. I thought Young was going to finish. Or dribble towards the baseline, and then he can drop that pass inside, and then Robbins can then turn and go to the baseline. Nice look. And Kyle puts it on a dime to Miles Johnson. 82 when they held George Washington and UMass to 85 combined points in the Atlantic 10. Down low, Miles Johnson, easy buck. He's got good hands, long arms. Down to McConnell. McConnell in the starting lineup with Mulcahy, the last four, and Rutgers has won all of them. Cross-court skip. Baker missed the first one, not that time. Picked up two in the first 70 seconds, if you weren't with us. Great, Great. Oh, Ducora, easy slam. Well, it's made by the cut here because you got a cutter, and it's Jacob Young coming right through that lane. Joe Toussaint takes him, and with that, there's a lane that opens up. Mamadou Ducore. Northwestern got off to the great start, 3 0 in the Big Ten for the first time in half a century. Mulcahy with a beautiful reverse. Wildcats with some reserves in there as well. Robbie Barron and Boo Booey coming in. The guys have started quite a bit this year as well. Mulcahy spinning through. Great feed to Amorie who throws it down. Finding the impetus for this little run by the Scarlet Knights. Nice feed inside to Cliff Amore. Finishes there on the break, and the Scarlet Knights right back in it, down to Deuce. Switched on to the bigger Austin Davis. Those are those winning plays. And how about that pass from McConnell to Young? Heck of a sequence from McConnell. Rutgers hasn't had a field goal in five and a half minutes, and that changes right there. Harper up top to Johnson. The sheepish smile from Jacob Young tells you who got the flop warning. Inside and a good feed to Geo Baker and Rutgers up a pair. You like good big fellas. You love that they can pass a little bit. Who doesn't like a good big fella that can pass? And a takeaway. The steal for Geo Baker leaves it behind for Young with the finger roll. Harper on the bounce to Young, who leaves for Johnson. Good ball movement, Stephen, for the Scarlet Knights. It really was, and, and nice job. Harper with that off arm to create a little space. Got the fall. A lob to Miles Johnson, and a one-hand flush. Baker to Johnson. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights getting a spark. Well, Geo Baker 
excellent vision over the top of the defense. Against Tallahassee Community College, he had 21 points. Since that time, he's not had a higher scoring game than he's had tonight as they find Amorie inside for an easy two to cut it to a 10-point game. So McGowan's get something going on the open floor and in the half-court set against that defense, which has been pretty stout for the Cornhuskers, you dribble. Yeah, he's got some swag and, you know, he's got a lot of amnesia as well. You know, he'll miss five in a row. He'll keep he'll keep putting them up. That's another guy. He and DJ Carstensen and Brooks Wells are the three officials. Yeah, Brooks, Brooks all do a good job. Man, that's a great play there. Oh, had a couple of great back-to-back -back passes here. Good job of spacing, good job of pacing, and the lob. Underneath, Johnson has a hammer of his own. Rutgers starting two and six from the floor. Indiana five and nine. There's a high percentage Woo! shot from Cliff Fabourier. Nice job by Baker of maintaining his composure. He just cocks this. Woo, that was nice. Allowed Johnson to get over the top. Now Baker. Woo! What a feed inside. Geo Baker, his seventh assist. Rutgers back in front. He hasn't kept pace, but you wouldn't know that from the pass from Geo Baker, one of his seven.